Coming up, I want to share with you five of my favorite keyword research tools that I use for ASO. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com, the place you go when you want action-packed content related to helping you grow your downloads, and more importantly, those revenues. But before we can get to revenues, we need downloads. And part of the things that I like to do is with ASO. Now, if you got some money and you've raised some VC funding, you might not need ASO. You can start with Meta and start running ads right away. But for those who are a little bit more bootstrapped or indie app developers, well, you're going to probably want to rely on ASO. And a part of making ASO really work for you is really finding the right keywords. And I love niche keywords that have high intent, right? Think meditation versus deep breathing. There's way more high intent in deep breathing. Yes, there's not a lot of people searching for deep breathing as much as compared to meditation. But if you can rank well for these super niche keywords, you're going to build a six-figure business really, really quick. And here are the five favorite tools that I like to use to help me find those super high-intent, low-difficulty keywords. All right, let's get started. First off, you know me. I like to show you some proof. Here's an app that we launched last, roughly about October. September, there wasn't much happening. It's about $100. But about October 2024, Okay. You can see October 24th. Within that first month, we drove $5,000. Now, this is an AI, and I use that in quotes for just for those listening, just the podcast, AI app, but it's a niche app. It's not another chatbot. It's not another AI image generator, right? It is a, it's a niche app. I love it, and it's solving a real problem, and that's what people are kind of figuring out these days. It's like, stop making another chatbot solve a real problem. This client came to us. We had already been working together on another app. They're like, hey, I'm going to spin off this feature of my big app into another app. We're like, definitely do it because we already did ASO for their bigger app. And we saw there were actually keywords for this other like side feature that he had. He built it. Boom. Already, already close to being a six figure business already, right? Like it's growing. So we've made $80,000 and this is the first nine months already. So there it goes to show you that it still works if you can find the right keywords. Now, if you don't believe me, here's the other chart that I always like to accompany my sales data with is that blue line is App Store Search. So you can see primarily driving a lot of sales and downloads through organic ASO search. All right, let's get into the tools. The first one, I'm gonna show you how to use each one individually. The first one is Google Trends. Definitely one of my favorite tools to use, all right? So let me show you how to do this. So I'm in Google Trends, right? It's pretty easy. I'm gonna pick a very popular, I used to always do meditation apps, but one of these days it's all about AI note takers, right? And so it's default to the past that you can leave it on that. I like to play around with these parameters. What I found is that using past 12 months right here, tends to give me the best keywords. Now I have a little plugin called Keywords Everywhere right now that gives me a little bit more data. So as you're starting to see this, this is here. So you can start to see the trend and interest and you wanna see it's going in the right direction. And actually I used Google Trends when I was looking at an app that I was thinking about buying. And I just noticed that the, when I went back five years, the trend was actually starting to go down, so, which made me feel like maybe not a good purchase, right? But the trend here is going up. Now you wanna come down here. Now, this is where I've been able to find different keywords. Now, Granola AI, never heard of it, but they are an AI note ticket either, too. So I'll hit load metrics because that's what my keyword everywhere can do. So I can get some estimates of the average number of monthly searches, right? I'm going to click here, go on here. I'm like, okay, interesting, nothing, but maybe Turbo Learn is something that I might be looking at. And then I'm going to go to the top. And I see AI note taker, I see Zoom, and Phantom. Now I go to Phantom, like, that's interesting. So now I have two keywords, I have Phantom and the rising one was, what was this one? Circle back potentially in Turbo Learn. Now I can go to my favorite ASO tool that I like to use. And for me right now, I, I like how I follow. It's one of the easier ones to use. So I'm gonna go to ASO tools and I'm gonna put in, so which one, which keywords do we find? Turbo Learn and Phantom. So Turbo Learn AI, put throw that into the app store. Let's see what the results So, 
Okay, the Zodiac app. So not a good keyword for me. But Phantom, right? Now I know a lot of you might use Phantom AI, the web AI note taker, but Phantom AI does not have an app. Now, does it have keywords? Well, let's figure that out. And that leads me into my second favorite ASO tool, and that is App Follow. I love App Follow, right? So that's how I start to combine some of these tools. I find a keyword on Google Trends, then I come to App Follow and I go, what's Phantom? Okay, nothing's happening. Hmm, interesting. So I'm gonna show you something a little bit different. You can start off the other way. So now I'm showing Phantom, but maybe Fireflies, but I'm gonna not click on anything here, but here's another thing you can do. AI note taker. And here's my another favorite way. So I start off with the same keyword that I did with Google Trends, right? I'm gonna click on this number six. Why? Because it only has about nine ratings and it ranks number six for AI note taker. Now, so does this one. So you can click on this one as well, but I'm gonna click on this one just because for fun, right? And so I'm gonna click this little eye icon. Now this is all for free, by the way. So these are free tools that I wanna highlight to you. And then now you can see Phantom note taker. 34, pretty interesting keyword. Phantom, the web app, it does not have an app. Now, you could technically borrow that brand or what other people I've seen in the space do if you want to be completely gangster about it, call your app Phantom AI. Now, look, I'm not telling you to do it. Legally, I don't know about trademarks and all of this stuff. I'm not doing that. I have seen other app developers just take that brand for themselves. But there are ways for you to target that keyword and from what I can see from the search results, not a lot of people are targeting that keyword. So that's how you do keyword research. That's how you find these interesting keywords that nobody's really paying attention to. That's how we're able to build it. Now, you can find better keywords. This is just one example right now. Because a lot of times I find more generic keywords, not branded keywords. And those are the sweet spot. But it's the same process right now. Right now, Phantom's easy to pick on, okay? But don't use it. Don't use it because it's legally, I don't know if you can or not. So don't, don't say I told you to use it at all because I did not, okay? All right. Now, sticking on the theme of Google, I'm going to go back to Google, sandwich it all, and come up with a Google, Google keyword tool. So that is another favorite tool of mine. Now, these are getting less of my favorites, right? I love App Follow. I love Google Trends. You can do a lot with just those first tools. But I want to give you a couple more, okay? So Google Keyword Planner. So Google Keyword Planner, I have it here. I've already gone to Tools. You'll need an account on Google Ads, but you go to Tools, Keyword Planner up top, and then I put in AI Note Taker, and you can see there's all these keywords, including Phantom as well. You can start to see they're actually good searches for Phantom. So it's another great way for you to kind of go after maybe AI Meeting Note Taker is a more interesting keyword, a more niche keyword that you want to focus on versus Phantom, right? And same thing with this, when I did this, it's like AI Meeting Note Taker, AI Meeting Notes. These are maybe other interesting keywords that you can target versus AI note taker, which if you look at the results right here, you'll see that a lot of people are using AI note taker in their title, right? A lot of people. Now, Apple just had an algorithm update, which could be affecting some of these algorithm changes. Like you can see why some of these guys with lower review count, lower rating count are getting ranked higher, but I think that will change, right? And you can see even minutes has AI meeting note taker because they're going after a certain keyword that has meetings versus note taker, right? And let's just do it for fun. AI meeting note taker. Let's see if minutes ranks number one for that keyword. Nope, but they're close. They're number two now. So you can see, right? Like start to go after these more niche keywords and that's how you do keyword research. Okay. Let's get into my next favorite tool, and that is Fox Data. Yes, all right. If you guys aren't familiar with Fox Data, they're a pretty newish ASO tool that newish to me because I just discovered them. But here's the platform. Now I put Otter in here just because we've been on this AI note taker theme. I'm in Fox Data right now, and I want to make sure that you know that I'm on the free plan. And unlike other ASO tools where you have to input the keywords. With Fox Data, you can just put in the app, come into this one and see ranked keywords ranked, right? And then start to see which keywords that Otter ranks well for that you might be able to discover. Now, I've gone ahead and filtered these results right here because look, at the bottom, you're going to have to upgrade. So you don't get that many keywords. Obviously, we're on a free plan, right? So I put it to 15 to 50. 
because I found that the lower competition keywords tend to fall in this range, usually more like 15 to 40, but I wanted a, a bigger pool. And what I've then done is sorted by results here. And so now I can see these are the number of apps that show up for a particular keyword. And I can see the results here too. So you can see otters here for this keyword, but Mac Whisper, so maybe, right? Maybe this is an interesting keyword. 24 is not too bad. Sniped, is this a sniped? Yep, okay, so that already has. So I wanna stay away from those branded keywords, like Phantom, frankly, whether they have an app or not. But this is another way you can find other keywords. Let's see, plot. I don't know. I don't know all the ASO, the AI tools. So I might be saying something that's obvious. Let's see. Okay. So that that exists too. So like, all right, I'm going to stay away from those keywords. Those branded ones, I'm going to stay away from. But the other ones that are a little bit more, like Mac Whisper, that might be one that we could potentially rank for. Right. This one. This might be an interesting keyword to go after. Mac Whisper, maybe. I don't know. I have to do more research on that. But Fox Data, I've been loving it. Okay. And the last keyword tool I'm going to give you, and the one that I actually personally use for my YouTube stuff is VidIQ. Now, if you're doing influencer marketing, this is where it becomes interesting. Okay. If you, and I will link this up, but if you watched our influencer marketing thing that Apps Flyer helped sponsored, you'll see that YouTube is one of the best performing channels for influencer marketing. Why? Because likely it's an evergreen content. People are more, I think, have a deeper connection with a YouTube subscriber versus an Instagram follow. And it's the long form content helps drive more engagement. I just think, look, I've built my entire career really through podcasts, audio only podcasts, and now YouTube through YouTube. And I love this tool too. So it's a great tool that if you're trying to find influencers or if you're trying to build an app or trying to think about like, making a video for your app, use this tool. Now I'll just put in AI note taker again, instead of meditation into this tool. And I'm on the free plan. I do have the paid subscription, but I want to show you what you can get away with on the free plan, but you can come here and this is what I normally do. And since I'm on the free on the paid plan, I can see everything else, but you can kind of see the search volume and you can see the competition, right? And I've created videos using this tool that I've gotten to number one, pretty easily for a phrase that not a lot of people are paying attention to, attention to, especially in the app marketing space. But this, I wanted to kind of highlight them because I do use them. It's one of my favorites and I do pay for them. And it's a tool that I, I love to use for some of the YouTube stuff. So check it out here. And if you want to pay for it, you can pay for it, but I'll link up all my favorite tools into the description along with some of the affiliate links and that. So I get a little kickback if you do subscribe to any of these software tools. All right, guys, that's it. Five of my favorite free keyword research tools that I love to use for ASO. If you've got a favorite and you'd be willing to share it with me, either email me if you want to do it privately or just leave a comment below. And if you got anything out of this video, share it with a friend. Definitely like and subscribe as usual. It's important. I need it. I have to ask. All right. If you got any questions for me, just reach out to me anytime, steve at masters.com or leave a comment below and I'll see you on the next video.